Hello, you guys. How are you all? Thank you guys for being here. Um, we are going to continue with our make calls tonight. I'm excited. And then I'm leaving for the beach tomorrow. So I'm not really sure how our schedule is going to look, but we're going to keep doing stuff. I just don't know when. Let me know how I sound. So I have a new mic. Actually, thanks to B Crumbs, who sent it to me and told me about it. Um, and I'm not sure. Let me know how it sounds to you guys. Hello. So I am excited to be getting in the calls. Let me say hello to you guys. Hey, Mela's mom, Brandy, Blue, Jerry Wayne. Hey, Tess. Sexy wild thing, McLovin, freaking Papa, Elvis Claus. Hey, Nana Banana. Hey, K-Braze, Brandy, Punksy, Kathy. Hey, Kim. Queen Bella, Grandma Sherry, good to see you. Hey, oh, I said, how do you, Punksy? But hello again. Hey, Elena. Hey, Carol. Millie, come home. Hey, Lil Red. Warrior Princess. Sounds great. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Yay. Oh, let me see. Teacup, thank you. Thank you for gifting a membership. I appreciate that so much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring Jen up and we're going to get started. I want to. Um, well, let me say at wait for Jen. Hey, Bendy. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Sorry. Sorry. Mac and Alice are fighting over the window. And I was distracted okay. because I'm afraid That's they're okay. going to pull the, the curtain down. Hey, Nate Noodle. Hey, Nah. This is, um, this is lawless house. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so before we get started, you did put out a video today about Sebastian. If you guys I have did. not seen Jen's video, please watch it. It's just a quick video. It is very, very good. And I think it's important. Um, it's all about the investigation, losing focus of what's important in it, that kind of thing. So it's, um, I really loved it. Oh, thank you. It's just a little quickie, you guys. Like Rainbow Mom. It's like two minutes and 36 seconds or something. It's just, you know, I just wanted something to uh, remind everybody what we're supposed to be focusing on, which is Sebastian. So, um, and something yeah. that people could share that's not like super long, you know, um, just share out so that, you know, more eyes, you know, hopefully we can bring this this kiddo home, you know. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And you guys um, also, you know, we are pay attention to the flyers as we listen to the calls. We're going to continue with May 2021. We do have some exciting things coming soon. But as we listen to the calls, there will be flyers of missing children. Jen has put in the video so we can, you know, a lot of people watch these calls and listen to them. So if we can maybe just get eyes on, you never know. It only takes one person. So. Hey, Julie. She said, my first love. I'm always late to the game. Hey, Donna. Well, welcome in. Good to see you. And thank you guys that watched it. I appreciate you, you supporting me. I appreciate it. It's really, you know, Allie, I appreciate you mentioning it. I just want to get eyes on his case. It's, you know, it's sad. And I want to get eyes on these missing kids because when I'm looking through these um, to put them, to get on, you know, to put them with the calls or whatever. <clears throat> what I noticed is, um, and you'll notice it too, you can spot the kids that are in the system by their picture. And oh. it really breaks my heart because nobody there, I mean, they're in the system, which means that technically they should be more documented and more tracked than, than your average kid, right? But they're not. And it's really sad and it breaks my heart. So um, anyway. You know, maybe you, maybe you saw, maybe you've seen one of these kids and you just didn't even realize it. So, you Absolutely. know, it happens. Yep. It sure does. I want to talk about Sebastian um, mm -hmm. uh -oh. soon again, but I don't know when I'm going to have the chance, but so definitely, you know, stay tuned. Well, Bendy, um, you want to get started? I was hope I was thinking that maybe we could, try to do it like an hour and a half or something that way we can get in bed to travel tomorrow what do you think about that is that okay however you want to, yeah babe you know me i am flexible and um <laughs> however you want to do it it's cool with me um what i'll tell you guys right now for sh i didn't i mean i've listened to like little parts of these or whatever but um 
so these the two days that we have here are May 9th and May 10th. And um, we're going to start out with everybody's favorite, Aunt Brenda. Hi, baby. <laughs> um, then uh, Letitia yeah. calls her mom. And then there's a couple of calls from Harley, a couple Ooh. of calls from Amy L. And the last call is um, the unknown YouTuber. So um, there you go. That's what we're we're going on today. Um, that's what we'll be what that's what we'll be listening to. So. And I, I got a okay, comment on, that, on the last time we did it, um, not the not last night, but the night before about that I played two calls in a row. I pr I assure you guys that I did not do that. Um, but and what happens is when she's talking to Amy and we have like two or three consecutive calls in a row, the conversations between the two of them are quite redundant. But um, mm -hmm. I assure you that I would not do that. So, Oh, did you Brandy? Oh, good. Yeah, because I, that's another side uh, quest. Allie and I have is a uh, Griselda Blanco. We'll be getting into her case. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Oh, Brandy, did you watch it? Yay. Mm -hmm. Um, I knew what you did, Kate. And thank you so much. And little red, come on, you come with us. And then, um, Julie said, OMG, you said hat. Julie, we love chatting with you guys. That is the best part about these labs. Like, um, you know, I think that pre-recorded videos and lives, that's what makes lives so special is you get to just hang out. You have like community, you meet people. We're with the same people every day. You start to know each other and know what's going on in each other's lives, share things while we talk about and digest some of this stuff. The good thing about Letitia's calls versus other true crime, like we're, this is more of like a psychological study, I guess, you know, um, into her mind, not necessarily about the crime that she committed, because we already know quite a lot about that. And, you know, as horrific as it is, it's nice to have a little break from that and kind of talk about the psychology and just the stuff behind, you know, behind it all. So, Right. Exactly. All the shenanigans and the malarkey that she pulled while yeah. see, this is the stuff that was going on behind the scenes that we didn't, know about while everything was coming to a head ahead of the trial these are all the things that she was pulling behind the scenes and now we can see the filings right and we can see the rulings but we can't hear her um her thought process about why she did the yeah. things she did at, when she did them as far as that goes and now we have a glimpse um but we don't want to linger too long you know, Letitia's like, um, like radiation, you know, like when you need it for an x-ray and a small dose, it's good, but too much. And you end up, you know, like Spider-Man. So, you know. <laughs> hey, Lynn. <laughs> hey, Jay. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Warrior princess. I will. I, I bought a metal detector. So we'll see if I find anything. Hello, Roxanne. Hey, Amy Griffin. It's hard for me to catch loves because of work, but I'm here when I can be. I don't comment much either. I love both of you ladies in our community. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, and yay. thank you for being here. We love you guys. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go. Thursday. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Good. What trader gets you for Mother's Day? Trader is taking me on a little trip, and we went up. We're going up to Virginia to visit a friend. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and then I'm going to over to Pennsylvania to visit another girlfriend of mine, and she's got cancer, really bad. Oh no! What kind? She has a uh, amorism. Mm. In the brain. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go spend I'm gonna spend a couple of days with her, yeah. and then I'm gonna go back home. But we're just out doing a little road trip. All right. Well, and then my other my other my other baby got me some flowers. Harley. Oh, oh yeah. Harley <laughs> bought Harley bought me some flowers and brought them to me the other day. Oh. And yeah, she's so sweet. And she was supposed to come to her visit, but she didn't come. They. When? She did work? Yeah, I figured. 
Good morning. She, she's at work, baby. I know. I, so we're to check, I always call and check up on her. She was uh, going into work. Oh, okay. So she couldn't make the visit. So that, that, was, that, that was probably what it was then. Okay. Um, cool. And she don't get off until, well, I don't know what time she gets off today. I told her they should be busy today. She's working at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, and I told I told her they may be busy today, you know, and all. So, but she supposed to send you one hundred and fifty dollars the other day. To yeah, yeah, them. I got it. I got it. I um. Okay. Apparently, there's some. I don't know if this is true, but this is what they're telling us. There's some shortage of batteries in the country, and so nobody's had batteries. Well, that's that, that's a possibility too. But I just wanted to let you know. I, I gave Harley the money to send you, and I said, you send your mama $150, and I gave Harley $25 to go out for, um, what was it? It was a birthday? Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I told her to go to, she wanted to Olive Garden, I told her to go to Olive Garden for her birthday. And cool. I said, and then I gave her some more, I gave her some more money. And I said, now this this goes towards your bill. Yeah, she um, what was I gonna say? She told me she went there. I was like, well, that's good. She said she had to get her get the car inspected. I said, yeah, make sure you do that. Yeah, I said, Cause, you know, Amber ain't, ain't gonna play about letting anything lapse. And she's like, I know. Nope. She did. She got it inspected, and while she was there at the house, she went ahead and uh, ordered stickers for it. So the sticker will come in the mail and. Probably next week. I'll probably get the yeah. next week and just mail it to her. But uh, while she was there, I weren't at home when she got there. Um, and I, I I told her, I said, Harley, go see your Grandma Deborah, and I'll be home in a little bit. Go visit your Grandma Deborah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she did, and um, Deborah gave her $100. Well, I'm surprised at that. Gave her a hundred dollars. Dakota gave her, I think Dakota gave her fifty. Deborah gave her a hundred. Yeah. But I, I told, I, I don't really not have Harley to go when she comes to see me. If Deborah didn't see her car there and she don't go, I don't want no static. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And I, I tell Harley to go to her just for a little bit, so I make a show because I don't want no static and no hard feelings. Yeah. No, she said she got to see the babies, and she rode them on the four-wheeler, like, around the house. And yeah, she did. She did, because she asked me could she go back up there. I just got her doing her inspection and her doing her stuff online for the tags. I yeah. let her do all that. And she asked me could she go back. I said, yeah, baby, you can go back. I kept saying, oh, thank you so sweet. <laughs> Is it? Time so? trying to get her and Trader gets along so good together. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. They get along so good. They both probably be one on each side of you, don't they? Oh, yes. Yeah, and jealous of one another, too. Oh, my God, they're jealous. But they are so good for each other. And so, I, you know, I told Harley, I said, now, when you come, you can always leave Sadie with me. Yeah. And if you ever have to leave Sadie somewhere for a day or two or whatever, you know, in case something comes up, I said, you can always bring her and let her stay with me and Trader. Yeah. And it helps Sadie to Sadie, learn from Trader, you know? Yeah. And Sadie has calmed down so much since Chance is yeah. not around. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, she has just calmed down. She just, oh, my God, I love her to death. That's good. Well, he was so, you know, like, always fighting at her, and they were always, you know, fighting each other. And, they know, didn't they get along. Other, they they loved each other, but they loved each other, they fought. Yeah. Yeah, they fought all the time. But anyway, um, did you uh, have, I, I didn't get you nothing from Mother's Day. You know, that's oh, don't worry about it. You help me out with the stuff here. and stuff. It's just, I'd rather have food and, you know, not have to serve this and. I mean, some candy and stuff like well, that. Well, so, no, yeah, and I mean, and I mean, I just, I figured, you know, hey, with Harley and you and, yeah, I, I mean, I'm trying my best to keep oh, no. close. Oh, no, I appreciate it. Even though you don't have I'm any kids, to... we are, 
pretty much you celebrate Mother's Day today because you don't you don't help raise us all anyway, you know. So, yeah. yeah. I was gonna I, say I, I um I told Harley that she can go ahead and fill out that uh Colorado Pira application for me, and she but she might have to put your have it mailed to you so you can look over it because I know she might not know exactly which form to fill out. What's it for, Hickwa? It's the Colorado Para because I can pull out, uh, I have that eight, eight plus years of retirement. It, they'll take 30% of taxes out of it. Um, but she needs to know which form it is to fill out. She said there was a couple forms, but she weren't sure which one it was. She needs to, she needs to go ahead and send me that and let me go ahead and get my attorney to fill it out and all for you. Yeah, and she's, a, she's got and the my, paper my that she attorney, can sign. I, yeah. Yeah, and my attorney won't charge for it. Let him look over it, make sure everything's right. Yeah. And he won't charge. Let's 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 do that. Tell Harley just send it off to me. Okay. Talk to her today. Okay. And yeah, just, I will. Uh, let, let me go ahead and get my attorney and do that. Um, and I'll. Yeah. And, and let 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 me let him take care of all that because that way uh, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And That's and fine. and we'll do it the right way. Yeah. So they got out. The now, top, the now the retirement. One. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead. Go uh, ahead. The South Carolina one. So there's a South Carolina one and there's a Colorado one. So there's two different. Because I didn't transfer the South Carolina one to Colorado. I left that one there because it was grandfathered in on like a separate thing. Because you know my plan was to go back there and retire. You know before this, before all this. But anyway, uh, so that's a separate form in the Colorado Colorado Para. Okay. Okay, just, just, just tell Harley to go ahead and send it to me. Yeah, um, and I'm not worried about it. They'll take 30%, what is it, 30% taxes or whatever, but, I mean, they were going to do that anyway, you know what we, I mean? We may, we, may, we may be able to get around some of them taxes. Okay, all right. That's why I said let him go ahead and do it. All right. Um, and everything. Let's, let's let him do it now. Okay, so I'll just, um, I'll tell her that. Okay. Yeah, I told Harley, I said, Harley, from now on when you... Do something when it's concerning money or anything like that. You need to get with me. Yeah. You don't. You really don't need to get with Miss B or nothing else because I'm the one supporting you and looking after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I told her. I, I told her the other day. I said, you like letting her look over it. You know, but you know, I let her know what she said. But you, you know what I'm trying to say? No, I, I know. I, I agree with you. I'm not worried about I, you doing said, anything wrong with it. You know. I, I said, there's some things that's okay for Miss B. I said, but when it comes to your taxes and this and that, the other, you need to let me try to help you because I'm responsible for you in a sense. Yeah. Because I'm looking at you and I'm taking care of you. If something's to happen to you, Miss B's not going to dish out ten, fifteen thousand dollars Wait, but she has, I mean, she has, uh, she has insurance on her. That policy on me and her. So just that's why I try to remind every three months it's not due again to a June. But you, but you know where I'm coming from. Yeah, I know. I just wanted you. That's why I was letting you know that so you could remember that the policy is. Yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know all that. But I was just trying to tell Harley. Sometimes she'll go do things and then she'll tell me about it. And I said, Harley, why did you do that? Yeah. She says, Well, me, I said, baby. Run it by me. Just run it by me. I mean, you know, it might be okay, but just run it by me, darling. They yeah. just try to stay on top of what's going on too here. Yeah. You know, and, and don't and don't keep me in the dark. Please, Harley, don't keep me in the dark. I said, yeah. now, keep me in the dark, then something happens and I don't know nothing about it. I'm going to get upset. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. That's just, that's just another. That's just Harley. She's Harley. learning. She's learning. She's learning, yeah. She's learning. She's learning. She's learning. She's learning. I got to give the young credit. She's learning. Yeah. I mean, and, under the circumstances, and, you know, she's having to, you know, learn a, a very valuable lesson. You know what I mean? And, and she, she tells me, she says, Aunt Brenda, you don't cut me no slack, do you? I said, no, I'm not going to cut nobody no slack. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, baby, I love you to death. Do anything in the world for you. I said, I do Julie. Yeah, are any of you young and you think I can do I'll do it for you, but I don't play games. I yeah. said I'm serious when it comes to business and taking care of business. I said, and guess how you're gonna have to start being 
Carly. She's a good girl. She, she, you raised her good. I don't care what nobody said. Well, nobody can say anything bad because I know I did a good job. She, she, I worked so hard. She, the Lord Jesus, she, you know. She, yeah. And and Daddy was strict on you. Daddy Fred was strict on you. So you you had it you had it strict to and me. Yeah. I mean, you know, so we got that in us. Got that er, in us. And everything should be okay. I mean a little while we'll, we'll be all right. We'll be all sitting back, not even going to worry about remembering all this nonsense, you know. I know it a hundred percent. I got did you hear I got the private attorneys now, right? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I I don't. I remember I told you I don't watch the news. Yeah. Harley don't watch the news no more. Yeah. I told Harley quit watching the news. I told Harley to stay off of Facebook if she could. Yeah. And, and and all this stuff. I said just stay off that internet. Stay off of uh, Harley. Just stay off of it. And and so she's trying to she's trying to get where she can get all her information off of off the media. Yeah, yeah. And I, I told her, I said, that's, you need to get it off the media where they can't pull your name up or nothing like that. Yeah. So she can send her, her, her the seat letters. She can send seeds yeah, the seat letters. Yeah, her attorney's working on that for so. Yeah. 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 No, that that was right. one of the things I told her. Son. Now, I can go get your clothes. He released your clothes and stuff. He My clothes are with Kim. No, my clothes are with Kim. Some of your clothes, Albert, is got, and he took them to Harley's attorney's office. Oh, uh, well, then that, those aren't really nothing of importance. The ones that are mainly important are the ones that Kim. Okay, I'm going to go get him from Kim. So I'm already in touch basis with her. Okay. But anyway, the, the other clothes that's out there is Harley's and some, some of your stuff, whatever. But anyway, I told Harley that. I was going to fly out there and get a U-Haul, and I'll bring them home. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be a lot, so you shouldn't have to have a big one. You could probably even get away with just pulling something if you wanted to get a rental car or something. Well, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is fly out there and get a car or something. But I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to wait till you, you start your trial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of want to wait to that. And the lawyer, her lawyer said he was... You have one minute remaining anyway the lawyer said I, what I, he would put them in a storage if he had okay to cool place. he's got them someplace put up for it good i'm glad i'm glad okay cool I, and I he's taking care of her love you, baby. love you too yeah, you yeah. drive safe I, I love you and you have your happy mother's day darling all right you too drive safe okay all right bye baby all right love you guys bye okay there's hello yeah i'm here hold on just a second i got somebody at the door please hold i want to know whose clothes leticia was wearing during trial well i figure they well i don't know i wonder where they came from too who would have shopped for her or or whatever and thank you guys for coming in from the jade raid i did not even realize melissa had a live until right before this started and i was like oh no um, so I apologize and yeah, thank you guys. Hey, Shell. Hey, Gina. Okay. So first of all, I have to say <laughs> the money, it's always the money. Here's my notes. Sent Harley money. She sent Tisha $150, but let Harley have 25, which was interesting. But, um, I did think it was sweet that Harley sent her flowers. Let me see. That didn't show for her. Oh, and she didn't show for her visit with Tisha. That is really interesting. I think this, like, she's already starting to kind of, we've seen that a few times lately in the last couple of months, you know? So I think she's starting to drift away. Julie, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, I noticed. Last night when we were listening to um, a call between Letitia and Harley, that Harley mentioned her attorney. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, the thing about attorneys are, is, are, is and are, is that um, 
they work for the client. So in this situation, obviously, Harley is the attorney's client. And so this attorney is going to be looking out for Harley. And um, I would imagine that things are starting to uh, sort of fall into place. And perhaps the attorney is advising uh, Miss Harley mm -hmm. that she needs to be uh, careful about mm -hmm. um, what she says to her mom and, you know, all of that. I noticed that as we've gone through the, the um, calls beginning from 2020 to now, um, as we move through, the distance is greater and greater and greater. There's the strain between them, the awkward um, silences are longer. And <clears throat> mm -hmm. I noticed also that um, Harley really hasn't been too terribly interested in the video visits either. You know, she's missed a bunch yeah. of video visits for various reasons, which I'm not, I don't blame her. You know, I think, bless Harley's heart, I think it's a lot. You know, Letitia is something else. And you know that, you know, if she compl if Tisha complains to Aunt Brenda, you know, Harley's six and they get a call. You know, so yeah. it's. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Starlight Angel, thank you so much for gifting those memberships. And I want to say hello. I don't know if I said hello. I saw Gina Diamond in here. Hey, girl. And then I saw Lynn. Hello. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you guys for being here, everybody. And thank you to the mods. And then Julie said, oh, goodness. <clears throat> Big day for me. I learned how to catch a live and do some super. She did a super sticker, which I'm just happy that you're here. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you for the super sticker. Um, okay. Hey, T. Adams. All right. Well, are you ready to go on? Oh, actually, I wanted to show you. I was going to ask you. So yes. in my notes, I only took a couple notes. If you can even see at the bottom was Harley's attorney, because I literally was going to bring up exactly what you brought up. <laughs> because I was gonna ask you, um, <laughs> like I, I'm curious what these meetings and what's happening with Harley and her attorney. I would love to be a fly on that wall to get to hear what that sounds like. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, you know. Because I, yeah. Well, I would imagine. I mean, you hear Letitia in the phone calls that she is keenly, keenly, keenly aware that can, can be listened to, that she knows the potential for them to listen to these calls exists. And she does do some things that, and says, says some things um, that kind of, you know, imply that Harley knows more than she does. You know what I mean? While at the same time saying, I don't know why they're bothering Harley. I don't know why they're picking on Harley. She's very duplicitous. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I think, yeah, you know, and yeah. I, th I think that the, I, I think when they were investigating yeah. everything, I think that they, a lot of, because of, of Letitia telling mm -hmm. Harley she couldn't talk to the police and not to talk to the police, um, I think that it made the, um, I think it made the detective suspicious of her. And um, I think when they finally sat down with her and then the proffer happened and everything, I think that, um, you know, I think that, I think that they would have charged her if they could have. And if she, if she had mm -hmm. done something, I, I think, I, I don't, you know, I, I think that's what they intended to do. Evidence, mm -hmm. If they had enough evidence, to take her to trial and, and find her guilty of anything they absolutely would have. I agree. And thank you, Kalata, for being a member for four months. She says, love you, ladies. We love you back. And then Riddler, too. Two outstanding crime investigators. Love you all. All oh, we Aww. love you back, thank Riddler. You, Riddler. Thank you, Riddler. 16 months. Um, but, but, yeah, you know, her telling Harley not to talk to police, she was a minor at first. And I don't know. I just that definitely made her look guilty. It just, it would be really interesting to know more details about her relation, her meetings with her lawyer and stuff. Obviously we will never. Maybe one that. day Harley will talk. 
Yeah. Maybe one day, you know, okay. Harley will be ready to talk. See, the thing is, I don't, I don't think that it's so much for Harley that she can't talk, right? Or doesn't want to talk. But I think she's learned a very valuable lesson about how social media can be. See, when you talk, you got to be ready for the, your audience to talk back when it's social media, especially on social media. And yeah. maybe we, she yeah. has, yeah, maybe she hasn't like worked through all of it and doesn't feel strong enough to deal with the talking back that inevitably comes. And maybe at some point, I hope she, even if she isn't ready to talk, I hope that she um, does get to a point where she feels stronger and more confident in herself. And um, I'm sure she carries some guilt. I think it would be impossible for her oh, yeah. not to. Oh, a hundred percent agree. I definitely agree. And I think, you know, people have to understand what you say. look when you put yourself out on social media, it doesn't matter where, just anywhere publicly, you are up to for crit. Like people can criticize you and they will especially mm -hmm. if they find interest in what you're posting. And it happens to everybody. I remember when I started my channel and I would start even constructive criticism. It's hard to take at first. You have to take down that pride, that like outer layer of like pride and just, you have to learn to take it. It's important. Sometimes it's shit you need to hear. It's just yeah. hard to hear. Sometimes it's hard to hear the truth. Um, Nene T, thank you for the super sticker. And then Michelle has been a member for three months. Thank you, Michelle. Aww. You're welcome. Ready to go to the next call, Bindi? Um, did you want me to answer this that so you just highlighted with Tinkerbell? Yeah, she can appeal. Oh, wait. I didn't even. I was just saying how to Tinkerbell. I didn't mean. I didn't even read it. What did it say? Oh. Let me go. She said um, mm -hmm. since. Since she, can, she can't. Uh, Letitia can't appeal since she pled guilty. Um, she can appeal. Yeah, she can. It now. See, I had seen Tinkerbell's like first comment where they said hi, and I uh, meant there it is, and I meant to say hi back, and so I just thought that I just saw the name and clicked it, and then said hi. So I didn't. <laughs> but yes, yeah, she can appeal. Which she can oh appeal. Gosh, and at yeah. the end of the, at the trial, Judge uh, Warner told uh, her team that they had thirty days to file an appeal. Now listen. I know a lot of people might not understand exactly what that means. All they have to do is file essentially an intent to appeal. They don't have to file the actual appeal, but right. because things change, uh -huh. um, she's going to have to get to, um, I keep wanting to say tortellini for no reason. Tortellini, Tortellini did. Yeah. Tellini will uh, see Tellini is, won't be able to handle her appeal. She will have to have another public defender to handle her appeal. Yeah. So, um, yeah. you know, they need no, they need notice. Like Laura, with for instance, with Lori Vallow, her attorney mm -hmm. from trial um, filed that notice to appeal you're talking about, and then you know said that she would have she would have different attorneys. But um, Shell, thank you so much. She said hi, Allie and Jen. Thanks to Starlight Angel and Starlight. I think got Shell a membership, and thank you, and thank oh. you again, Starlight. All right. She has Tinkerbell. As far as we know, yes, babe. Tinkerbell. As far as we know, she has not appealed. However, in the stuff that we read yesterday with her new um now that she's decided to sue um the uh prison where she's located um there was some it seems like uh, she's saying that there was an that she intended to appeal at some point and they interfered in that as well so who i mean you know exactly little red the state will provide her an appellate attorney and no, I'm not trying to rush us. I just. No, no, no. Go yeah. ahead. Play. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. I just want to want to not uh, do like the longer live tonight since we're leaving tomorrow. Um, so that, that's all. I always love to hear from you and chat with the chat. But all right. You ready? Ready? I don't think we're going to get through this, but that's all right. Yes, I'm ready, babe. Hit it. Which we did that first one in two sets. We could do that if we had to, or I don't know. Okay, but let's go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thinking out loud over here. Love you, baby. Love you, baby.
Hey. What's up? Oh, not much. What's up with you? Just calling to say Happy Mother's Day. Well, thank you. Well, I sure do appreciate it. Praise the Lord. Well, I have two. I have three, but only one said that to me. Who's on the world? All the crying going on. That's that young Dakota. He he needs his leg stand. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Hmm. What are y'all doing today? Well, Curtis brought me up here to Miami to eat. We sat waiting for them to um, call us because they was away. Oh, cool, cool. All right. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Gracious, he needs to, he needs to control his kids. That's trying to get this in here. Okay. Back in here, please. Open the door. Yeah. Well, I hope y'all have a good day. I just started calls, see what y'all were doing. Hold on a minute. Let me put the window while I can hear you good. Say what now, baby? I said I just wanted to see what y'all were doing. Where's yeah. She didn't come with y'all? No, she um, she was in the I believe he was, went to see his grandma because his grandma's like 90-something years old and she's not doing good. Yeah. So he went, they went there. Um, She was going to church, but she's got where she won't go now. Mm. I know. You know, she got, she got saved and then, well, you know, you can't, hang, you can't still hang with your old friends because, you know, that'll pull you right back into the world. Yeah. Yeah. So she's yeah. Going to church. She ain't been the last um what two three months. Mm-hmm. Well, it might be a little bit longer than that. But yeah. But um, so you know they really uh you know when they get a certain age they have time for the sales and yeah. I just I don't I try to not say nothing no more. Yeah. You know. I seen Harley the other day. Yeah, she told me. She drove the four wheel. I was like, oh, God. And she was like, well, just around the house. It was just around the house. I was like, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just around the house. I was it's like, last time y'all did that, y'all wrecked. I was like, no. Yeah, that little bit. Jazz can drive a little bit better now, can't you, Jazz? <laughs> Are they driving an automatic? Yeah, it's automatic. Oh. All right, I was about to say. It's a, it's a, what like is a that thing, Cody? Like, it's a four hundred. A what? A renegade. Oh, so it's not what, like a one thousand. It's yeah. the big one. It's the big ones, but not yeah. powerful as far as taking. No, off. no. He's got it cut down. When they when they ride it, he cut. Jazz be the fuss because he he won't give her no speed. Yeah. He's got it. He's got it cut down for when she rides it. Right. And then too, they, they were riding them young ones too. Yeah. And Kenny, yeah. um, Sonya's little girl fell in love with Harley. <laughs> they said they said she cried and cried when Harley left. Yeah, how old is she? She's two. She'll oh. be three this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's but, weird because um, Harley ain't never really been around a lot of babies. <laughs> No, but she was had Miko missing with him. He, hey, he weighs about as much as Harley. Hmm. He's a big thing. He, Is he? Well, he weighs he weighs more than Kenley. He's big. He's in a two T, and he ain't, next month he'll be a year old. I know. And, Good God, and that two T. He looks like he's about to bust out of here. What in the world are they feeding him? He, you know, he when he was born, he weighed nine pounds five ounces. Yeah. So, so he's a big boy in his day. But uh, you doing good? I'm at considering. Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, God, you know, God's there with you, honey. Like they told day this girl told day about her testimony. It took 14 years. You know about what she was going through with. 
say. Oh, yeah, I already know. You already, you already showed with the other thing that happened last week, so I already knew. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, baby. Yeah, and I already, he already told me what was going to happen, that I was going to get the, the, the good attorneys, and he made it happen. Did you? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't be getting on. I, I defriended from the, all them people that was putting all that stuff out out there on Facebook. Yeah. And I and 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 I try not to get on all that because when I get to reading some of the comments, I get so upset and I begin yeah. to say stuff yeah. back. And I know I, I don't need to say nothing back. Yeah. Because there's no sense to sitting there arguing back and forth with them. Yeah. A lot of Christians so. do it too, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, and and <laughs> because and God don't want us to do that, so you know I'm standing on the promises of God, and you know I took it to the altar, and if I don't, if I get on there and argue with the people back, what I went to the altar about for you and it's everything, gone. Yep, it'll be gone. it's gone, yep. and I, I'm I ain't gonna do it. That's why I don't I'm even say anything it. anymore about when I get abused and transport and all that stuff. I just come back. And, Pray to God about it. Leave it at that because there ain't no point to say anything. It'll come later. Yeah. It will. It will. It's going to come later. And, and and they they just don't realize you're messing with God's children. He'll pay a, a heavy penalty. Yeah. Yeah, Mom. I already know. Mm-hmm. I already yes, know. I, I see it. Too. Like the song says, I see the evidence of his goodness all around me every day. Amen. Well, I got jury duty starting tomorrow, and I'm, I'm trying to even think I could get up on it. <laughs> Tell them it's, uh, uh, what's going on with me is causing you emotional stress and you'll be biased because of how I'm getting treated. I might have to do that one. That'll let me say because I really don't want to do it. I'm good. I tell them you saw how the system is working and you're, you're really biased about it right now, how they do your daughter. And, hey, you're probably not fit for the job. Well, I know I ain't because, huh? I, I just say with everything that's going on with the stuff on the TV and all this here and everything, I'm just like, it's just a mess and all stuff. But you know what? God's going to turn it around. And I'll, and um, Yeah, the devil tried to get me not to go to court the other day. He was like, don't go. You're not even going to get what you asked for. Da, 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 da. And I wasn't going to go. But then they came to get me. And it was like, I wasn't even the one walking down the steps. It was like, mm-hmm. something took over my body and left. And, mm-hmm. and then I get there and he holds the other hearing and then they grant me the the private attorney. So. Well, praise, praise God, then I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, because those people were already coming in here, and, like, they were already helping me, and they got to see that I was totally innocent, so they were just like, you know, keep praying, keep praying, and I did, and then answered, you know? Yep. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, and, thankfully, yeah. and then he ended up giving me that girl that was helping me investigator God ended up giving her to me so she could stay on the case and then a new attorney so well that's good that's good God's gonna make it like that you you coming yeah, on yeah. I, I I'm claiming it I'm claiming it I have I claimed it I, I just get I so stir crazy in here and I start losing my mind right. and anybody would you just sit here for on all time you don't get your human contact I mean I come out with people now but I only get to come out like an hour and a half with them and then the rest of the day I'm by myself, you know? I know I'd be crazy. I, I've done being crazy. I ain't even gonna lie about it. I, I know, I don't know why that's so shocking to people that it's a hard thing to do. Like, everybody thinks it's like, oh, don't be, there's nothing wrong. I'm like, you sit somewhere for 23 hours and have nobody to talk to. You invent people to talk to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can, yeah. Because even just say, a person, even if you can be in the same house mm-hmm. and and not and not really talk much to one another, yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's think about when pressure. hurricanes come. You know how hurricanes come yeah. at first is peaceful, everybody's glad to be resting, and then after a day or two, you start to go crazy. Yeah, yeah, like I got to get out of the house. You know, oh, no, that's true. And that's thing. I didn't have TV. I didn't have radio. I didn't have human. I didn't touch a human being for thirteen months. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, when I and, 
first touched one, when the investigator went to grab my hand to, like, shake it, I, like, freaked out. I was like, what in the world? Yeah. Mm. That's why people, people that's not in the situation need to be thanking God instead of criticizing. And mom, drugs are bad. They're so bad here. Like, I can't even put in the words the addiction problems that these people have. I never saw it in my mm. life. I never knew it was that bad. Mm. I, just, I sit there and pray, and I'd be like, how in the world are you that addicted? And I don't understand it, you know, but I, I'll never it, understand it because I've never been addicted. So I, I know. Guess I've never, it's I'll bad never here. It, you know, it's, but, um, it's bad here because they call it dog food, but it's heroin. And it's taking out people. And you so know, heroin's it's there taking, now. It's there now. Oh, it's it's been here for a while. And they, I'm Scott. How many people in the last year to two years have died mm-hmm. from heroin? And uh, cause mm-hmm. hey, I didn't. They, like I said, they call it dog food. I didn't know what name of God it was. I had I had to ask Julie, and she freaked out on me. Like, Mama, what do you want to know? I said, Well. One of the teen, one of the youth at the church was telling me that her mom was on it, and I I didn't want to question her, so I waited. I left from around her to ask Julie. Right, I know. That's not like remember Julie with the skittles. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling her. That's what I'm. I wouldn't know either. I'd been like, why are people eating dog food for? I, I mean, know I like dog food, but you know. That's what I was trying to figure out and everything, but. Drugs are bad everywhere, and it is killing not just the young people, it's kids taking out the old people. Mm-hmm. You know, p- pills was in taking them out. And That's they, the last and thing I remember was pills, yeah. It still is, but the heroin is really. It's and I, I was, Yeah, well, they got meth here, but not like, you know. Yeah. yeah I think That's why they heroin. stopped our mail, because people were sending in meth strips inside of the papers and stuff like that. Or well, that's what I was told. I, I don't know how true yeah. but I was like, well, Darren, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, oh, well, don't judge. Yeah, I'm trying to, for some reason, I couldn't, I tried, but couldn't get it done, and Harley was supposed to do it, but then they got on the full wheel, and, and I, I didn't say nothing. She got ready to go, and, and I, was, I didn't, you know, yeah. should I said I try to get it, work on it again, trying to get it pulled up. I don't know if it was my internet. They had to reboot my internet, so it could be been it. Yeah, yeah. And, and Harley's um, attention span with stuff is very small. <laughs> well, yeah, bless her. So, but she's still doing good, bless Yeah, I know. She's she's trying trying something something to because I told her, I've been on her now for <laughs> months about getting that paperwork filled out so she can pull my retirement out. And... And she's like, oh, Mom, I write it down. And I just, I said, I know, I know, but you got to take the initiative to do that. I mean, I'm, yeah, for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you got, you know, too, that, that's a lot. This has been a lot on her. Oh, I know. And I know. I, God and, um, I care for her, though. Every day, uh, when I put on the armor of God, yeah. I put it on for her, too. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do, too. But, and I was surprised her when I, I told her, I said, if you'd have told me ahead of time, I'd have went and seen you get baptized again. But yeah. but when she told me, I was like, Harley, why didn't you tell me ahead of time? And I yeah. could have, you know, made arrangements to, you know, be down there. So, And she was like, well, come on, I didn't think you could come. I said, I just tried to make arrangements, you know. Yeah. Because they did the first time they did it. And you have uh, one minute remaining. Right outside of Melissa's house. Who did it this time? Um, the church where she's going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did it at the actual church. Yeah, I I've guess never... they done it at actual church. All I know is they, yeah. you know, they dipped her down and everything. Yeah. And she's excited about working with them girls and everything. And I, I'm glad she's doing that. Well, she's always she always wanted to be like Sadie Robertson, you know. Yeah. 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 She sure is. And brought the dog in the house the other day. She told I me in the phone book the other day. She's like, I took Sadie aside. I said, well, tell Grandma she's your ESA now, so she's legally allowed. Uh, that's what she told me. I said, Harley, Harley, Harley. I said, you're lucky, baby. How's it you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, well, this is going to be good. And uh, I'm going to try Harley again because I haven't been able to get her all day, but I know she's probably working. Yeah. She all right, probably love you guys. Talk to you later. I love you. Right, bye. Bye. bye.
Okay, Elena, I'm proud of you. Um, but okay, can you guys hear me? Because now I don't have the mic. I'm just figuring it out. So it's just get patience, stick with me. But um, that was really interesting. Can y'all hear me? Please tell me you can. I don't know. Let's see. Hello, it looks like it's working. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Awesome. Okay. That was really interesting to get to hear. I don't know where Bendy's at. Um, probably smoke him. Okay. So I'll just go into the next call and we'll talk about this one after that one. But I just want to say, you know, you know, Dakota's baby was there. If you guys heard that and Tisha calls mom, tells her happy mother's day. She says, I have three, but you're the only one who called. Then she says, Dakota brought her food and stuff. So that was kind of confusing, but at one point when the baby was crying, Tisha said, tell him to control his kid. And she just had like this attitude about it. Like, ah, oh, I can just see how she would be with little children in the family. And then mom says he needs his legs tanned. So that means he needs his little butt whipped, basically. I mean, he's a baby. Obviously, he needs his legs tanned. He sounded like a two-year-old. I mean, but whatever. It's, I mean, people, you know, I understand that's how not everybody um, disciplines their kids the same way. But, and, you know, I can understand whipping your kids, even though I don't like it. I can understand that some people might smack their kids on the butt, that kind of thing. Um, I've had to smack Bentley on the butt once. But a baby? Like, you're, even, you know, even when I did it, I like, I just, I don't see how, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't see how it helps the kid, but that just, it's just scary to think about. But you, you know what? It. it is scary. And I'll tell you why, because Letitia, this is the thing. Moms know what it's like to have a little one running around. Okay. And there have been many a time when I have been on the phone with Allie and Bentley needs her and he's talking to her have, and I think it's the cutest thing in the world. I would never, even if he was acting up, would ever get frustrated or upset that Allie couldn't talk to me or her was distracted from what I was trying to tell her because she had to tend to Bentley. That is beyond ridiculous. And it is indicative of who Letitia is. She has zero business being around children. And I can't even, be, I don't even know what possessed her other than that damn debut that's inside of her um, to work with children. It's very clear that she doesn't like them. Yes. So why would you work with him? You are so dead on with that. She absolutely doesn't like him and her tone, tell him to control his kid. Like, yes. Damn. Right. Like I'm talking to you right now, mom, and I need your full attention because I'm two. He's a baby, yeah. Letitia. He is a baby. And, and I, I don't give a rat's fat kneecap what Bentley's asking for. Bentley comes before Jen Lu all day, every day. I would put Bentley before me. So, I I mean, you, would. you know, so I can't even when I hear when I record, I had to listen to this one when I was actually screen recording it. Because um, I, the number wasn't familiar to me because I was doing I had started these calls before we got the June 2020 calls and had, a, you know, obviously. So I didn't recognize the phone number. And um, then I heard the voice and I was like, oh, OK, then I knew who it was. But um, right. and I heard that and I was just like I had to stop listening to it because it irritated me. And it's her nephew. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. It's your baby nephew. Like, don't you want to, hi, baby. I don't know. I, I would just picture something completely different if I couldn't see my family and I hear my little baby nephew in the background. Like, I would want to try to talk to him. I want to hear him. I want to listen yes. to him. No. They, uh, and also, not I'm sorry that he, he needs his legs tanned. Like, I'm not judging her mom or whatever, but look. How does hitting a kid teach them anything? Like, I, I don't know. For me, my brain doesn't understand it. I know that some people, it's their way of discipline, whatever. That's one thing. But a baby? 
You said yeah, that. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how, I don't, I don't understand how that, why anybody thinks that that works. It's a very antiquated way of thinking. Yes. I came from a generation uh, where my, I got spanked. I did. Mm -hmm. um, but just because we've always done it some, a certain way doesn't mean that that's the right way to do it. You know, when you learn, when you know better, you do better. And they have done so many studies and I am not telling anybody else how to parent. That's not my place, but I certainly don't think that it's appropriate to punish um, a two-year-old with um, a spanking. Tan in their legs. Tan and then you're their, I mean, it really essentially, yeah, it really it just essentially it's, a, it's a turn of phrase and it's an antiquated phrase that really means he needs an ass whooping. But it's still yes. like, you know. Yes, that's exactly it just, it what. I, and I, actually, that's, that's exactly what I heard in my head. Uh, was he needs his ass whipped? That's basically what it means. And it's a baby. Like I don't know. It's just whatever. You're right. It doesn't set well. It's frustrating. Who's so Harley's our next one? Yes. <sighs> and it's a okay. So it's a quickie with Harley. All right. Followed by a long one with Harley. And then there okay. are three calls left. So if you want to um, wrap it up after the second call to Harley, I'm cool with that. If you don't, you don't, however you want to do it, you know me, I'm here for you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That uh, sounds awesome. Well, let's do, let's listen to this quickie and maybe we will wrap it up after the two Harley calls, but um, we'll just see how we, how it, like what time it is and stuff like that then. Tess says, when you do what you always do, you get what you've always gotten. In this case, spanking not working. That's a point. You know, and we're supposed to evolve and do better. Like, I get mm -hmm. it. Like I said, when I, when I did it, it's because Bentley looked straight me in the face and said no. And if, like, it, you know, there are certain times where you're like, you need to make a point. But I just don't like it at all, even then. I don't even like it then, and especially as like a regular form of discipline or something. But I think that we can do better than that. We, yeah. Like, that's just me. But anyways. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I am ready. This is the most awkward right. five minute. It's like a four minute call, but it's awkward. Oh, God. Okay. I'm sure it is. Poor Linda said, my mom always had the hickory switch handy. I remember my grandpa making my brother pick switches off the weeping willow, like get their own switch. I never got whipped with one, thank God. But yeah. Those weeping Back willows day, are, no, are no joke. They, because they're, uh -uh. they wrap around. Mm -hmm. We got the belt. Yeah. Me and my sister got the belt. But, um, you know, yeah, we got the belt, <clears throat> but yeah, it, yeah, uh -uh. I, it, it's just, yeah. Okay. So yeah. just one quick question before we move on because yes, of this Sebastian stuff. So okay. is whipping your kids with a belt, that's, is that legal? Like so that's legal, I don't, right? Or I think it depends on the state. Each state has some, has different uh, guidelines. I know for a hundred percent fact in Texas, you parents have the right to what they call reasonable discipline and the discipline becomes unreasonable when it leaves a mark. So mm. that yeah. is very broad terms. Um, you know, because uh, back in the day when I was in school in Texas, you, you could go to, they could send you to the principal's office to get licks and um, to get swats. Right. Yeah. And I remember because we moved from Arizona to, to Texas when I was uh, in the fifth grade. And it's one of those things um, you, you your parents have to agree to. They can't just be, you know, whooping kids. But uh, my dad said, if you feel like she's done something that needs a spanking, you call me. OK, I'll oh be the only gosh. one whipping my daughter's ass. Never? Not you. We, oh, just, good. I mean, he's... yeah, because he felt like. There was um, a weird part. Uh, he didn't think it was appropriate, especially, first of all, for a man who to be hitting girls. It, he, right. Something about that just did not sit right with him. He thought it was yeah, weird that a right. principal would be whipped. But he's a man whipping girls. 
He whipped my ass many times. Yeah, but you're his, you know, you're his daughter, I know, you know different, what I mean? But he just, yeah, yeah, but he just thought it was weird and like kind of creepy. Also, you have to remember that right. my parents, when they were growing up, they went to Catholic school. And so um, they were um, disciplined by, my mom was disciplined by the nuns, but my dad was disciplined by the priests. And one of the priests um, that used to work at the high school uh, was before he was a priest, he was a boxer. And so what he would do is he would get the boys in the boxing ring. Well, if, as any good Catholic knows, it does not matter if the priest takes a swing at you and you're wearing boxing gloves. Even if he encourages you to hit him back, you are never supposed to hit a priest. So I don't even know what the point of putting the boxing gloves on the kids was. But basically, they were just standing in a boxing ring getting, yeah, you don't hit a priest. You're not even really supposed to touch them or nuns. Wow. I remember one time my mom came to see me or me and my sister came to see my mom. And um, there was a nun and she was struggling with her bags. And I, I had asked her if she needed help, but she didn't hear me. And the only way for me to get her attention was to tap her on the shoulder. And I said, um, sister, excuse me, do you need help? can I help you? And she needed help. So I helped her. My mom says to me, after all of this said and done, I can't believe you touched a nun. That is a holy vessel. You're not supposed to touch them. And I said, well, what's going to happen to me, mom? Is my arm going to fall off? You know, and she, am I going to go to hell? And she said, really, that's the thing wow. that's going to send you to hell? Probably not. That's why I didn't say shit. <laughs> I was like, okay. Oh, wow. That's, that's where I get it from. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I did not know that. Teacup says my parents were excessive with the physical punishment. I remember yelling at my parents that I was never going to hit my kids and they rolled their eyes. I win. Cycle broken. And I love that. And I am so sorry. And then Angelina, and then we'll get right back to it. But look, this is how it is. We like to hang out and just chit chat and and that's just the way it is here when we do this so um angeline we go off on tangents sometimes we're gonna get right back to it uh, but this is important she says former cps cannot use an object it's considered abuse if discipline leaves a mark it's considered abuse good i think that's I, I mean look i know that people hit their kids with belts i just i don't like it i just uh, that look like it looks like it would really hurt and then the buckle and stuff. I don't know. I just, I never got hit with I the buckle. Some... It was the belt. It was, he, my dad never like, he never got us with the buckle, but I know kids that did get hit with the buckle. And I know one of my friends used to get hit with mm -hmm. um, the telephone cord, but um, oh. I, I'm not an advocate oh. for spanking your children. I don't think that it works um, for me. It didn't work for my children. Um, and it is what it is. Yeah. It, it's just, you know, my yeah. mom was not a real, was not a spanker. What she liked to do is get you, she pinch you under the arm, like right where your armpit, you know, that flap that kind of is right there by your armpit at the back of your arm or whatever. That's what she would do. Because usually when she needed, when, if we were doing something, mainly it was at church, if we were fidgeting in mass, which I don't know if y'all, how many of y'all have ever been to a Catholic mass, but it is long for a kid seven, eight years old. It's a long time. It's a lot of standing. Then there's sitting, then there's kneeling. The kneeling is a long time. When the whole time the priest is preparing, oh, yeah, for communion, done that. it's a long time. And it depends I on went like, to with my friend. yeah, yeah, it was at my, mo oh at my, my gosh, grandmother. Stand up, sit down, stand up. Yes. <laughs> we'll see at the church. We were at the church. We went to, um, when it was just me and my mom and my sister, the um the thing that the kneeler thing had um like a padding on it but when we would go to mass with my nana and that was an old school catholic it's santa cruz catholic church um there it was wood so when you were doing the kneeling you were kneeling on wood so yeah Yep. Oh, yeah. wow. It's it's crazy. Um, Elaine says, here in Scotland, even spanking a child will land you in prison. It is a big no-no here. I want to look into this. I'm going to do like some research and I may do a live on it because it's very interesting to me. And I think that it needs to be talked about more because there's obviously still a lot of people that do it. Um, and they were raised to do it. And I just think that having that conversation, you never know. You could change the way people think about it. Um, 
So I might do that. That's very interesting to me. And then Katie says, and then we'll go on. I always thought it was ridiculous for people to tell their kids not to hit people. And then they hit them. Stupid. I know. That's the same yeah. thing I, I've said. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make we sense. We could talk about a lot of nonsensical parenting. Didn't, have you ever been sitting at the dinner table with your parents and they tell you, shut your mouth and eat? You know, because you're talking too much. Well, how the hell are you supposed to <laughs> shut your mouth and eat? So see, this is the kind of stuff that this, look, I'm going to tell you right now, I got my butt whooped. I did. And it did not work. I was a full blown heathen. But what I would do is I would think about it. I would think about before I do this, is it going to be worth it? Is this going to be worth the rash of shit that I'm going to get if I get caught? Sometimes it was and I did it and sometimes it wasn't. So I didn't do it. And that's just, I think that that's just kids in general. When they get to be a certain age, they're going to test you and you got to be ready because they yep. can smell fear just like dogs. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And they can smell fear just like dogs. No, but they really do. They can, they can kill you out and they can. Yes, absolutely. And if it, they, it's funny to watch how a kid changes person to person versus who's watching them, who's in charge because they know what they can get away with and yep. stuff like that. Um, the dad, Elena, voice, all my husband ever had to say good night, Elena. All my, all my husband ever had to say to the kids was just, hey, and that was it. Meanwhile, I'm like, are you not getting off? Are you stopping? Will you put that jacket? Blah, 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 you know? And all he'd be like is, hey. Yes, dad. Yeah. Everybody would be doing what they were supposed <laughs> to do. Oh, I was bad, cray cray. I was bad. I was a heathen. I was smoking, running around, doing all the things. Trying to be too old, too heathen. grown. I was really good until I was like middle school age and then all hell broke loose. <laughs> it was just that. Like before yeah. that, for me, when I was a little kid, I used to, for real, for fun, I would read the encyclopedias. I would like, I was very into like learning stuff and um, like I would teach myself how to like do the al alphabet backwards, which I still remember to this day. My I mom said I was like five and walked in there. Uh-huh. And my mom said when I was like five, I walked into the living room and I was like, Mom, watch this. But I loved like I was good. I wanted to be good. And then I don't know what happened, but something I was good too when I was that age. When I hit 15 high school, it was over. It was over. Yeah, I just I I, because my mom, and, I was the first one. I was the oldest. So like I had to break those fools in and they weren't ready for me to be like going to parties and stuff. And I'd be like, mom, calm down. And my dad would tell her too, Kathleen, she she's not an idiot. She knows what she's it's going to be fine. You got to let go a little bit. And every once in a while, she'd nag him and, and get on and make his life a little miserable so then he'd have to make my life a little miserable, you know, which I wish it didn't have to be like that. I wish I could. But by the time my sister started pulling shenanigans, which let, let me just be clear. My sister was pulling shenanigans with me, but I didn't ever snitch on my sister. I'd be like, no, she didn't go with us. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't know where Julie was. Mm -mm. She wasn't with us. I kept, you know, but yeah. Yeah. And anyway. I just want to, um, uh, acknowledge a couple comments here which angelina had another one i really wanted to acknowledge about her leaving there and mm. i can't find it so she worked for cps okay i left that job 10 years ago and i agree with you jen i never liked telling anyone hitting was okay it was my job to tell parents what constitutes abuse though per state guidelines honestly the emotional ish i saw was worse than the physical Seeing a five-year-old literally drop her face in a plate of spaghetti, crying because her stepmom wanted her gone and unwanted. Oh, my God almighty. And then Stephanie said, I grew up in a family who encouraged spankings. They would make me go outside and pick my own switch and then tear me up. Fast forward to when I became a mother and I wholeheartedly, one second, there's an ending to that. And then we'll go on. Um, I know some people get impatient when we start uh, the chatting, but... I enjoy chatting with you guys. Steph says, but, um, when I became a parent, believed in spankings. However, when I would spank my children, even though I had golden rules such as one, before spanking, I explained why they're being disciplined. Two, the only place to whoop was the butt. See, I can understand that. I, I do. And every kid's different. Hey, Lisa. But, you know, 
I don't know. We'll have this conversation on another day. I'm we very do need interested. to have this conversation. I think it's an important one to have, especially, um, you know, given the circumstances yeah. with Sebastian. Well, let's I think it's it. an important discussion. Yes, yeah, so let's um, do some research in the next couple of days and then we'll do something. Like, okay, do when you have time down. and when I have time. I'm going to look and All see right. like what the guidelines are as far as state, you know, legally and stuff and, and go from there. Um, and Natasha also worked for DCS. See, I find that really interesting because on my channel, I've, I've always kind of spoken out against the system, not against the workers. I think there can be really great people. Mm -hmm. They usually leave. You guys aren't still there, but um, you know, the system is absolutely broken and every single case that I've covered with little kids, maybe with one or two being the exception, like the Watts case, there's a couple, but almost every single case CPS has been involved. They've either not done their job, like when they show up with Adam Montgomery and he's getting in the car with Harmony, they um, have put kids with parents who lost them and don't need to get them back. And they put them with these kids and then they end up dead or they put them with foster parents and they end up dead. And I, I mean, there it's time after time, after time, after time. And I am so sick of seeing it. Something's got to change, man. Something's yeah, got something change. does have to change. Definitely. Absolutely. All right. Well, I'm sorry for my tangent. You ready? Absolutely. Here we go. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry I couldn't talk to you yesterday. I was stuck at work all day. I literally worked from 11 to 1.30. 1.30 in the morning? Yeah. Dang. Like, guess how much money I made? How much? $700. Seven? Seven zero zero, yes. How did you make that much money? <laughs> because with Soho, 20% is added to every single bill, and I worked for like 14 hours. Holy smokes. I pray mm -hmm. to God that you did good and everything, you know, because I was like, <sighs> I, was like I, I cried. I, I cried. I cried for the first couple hours and I said, I'm going to quit. And then life got better. No, <laughs> Once don't I figure out how to do everything. Yeah. And, and, and working in service is always going to be stressful. People are always going to talk junk. And you're so like, I know, because the kitchen lady yelled at me. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to give my manager my check so I can get my money. You what? Wait, hold on. I have this for you. Huh? I wasn't talking to you. Hold oh, on. Sorry, it's so loud in here. <laughs> sorry, I had to give him my thing so that he can give me money for my tips today. Well, you need to put that money up. I am. I have to save for school. Yeah, and then like twenty dollars for me for books. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> or you could just do my uh iHeartRadio thing. <laughs> I know, I thought about that last night and I was like, Oh my gosh. She worked till one AM and made seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I do have one. I was telling the guy you work at the sushi restaurant because he was going to let me go out last night to call you because I was freaked out. I was going to get five to the bar. Five hundred. One because she helped me out a lot. No, hold on. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll give this to her. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Perfect, and I'm all set. Awesome, thank you. Okay, I'm back. Did you make money today too? Yeah. But not as much, obviously. No, I made 200 today. Oh my God, you're going to be addicted. <laughs> I know. I'm like, wow, this is so fun. Well, I remember I used to do that John Crab and we go spend everything. <laughs> I, I feel I like you, I had so much, Mom, I had so much money flying out my pocket. Not literally flying out yeah, my pocket. Yeah, I know what you mean. Night, but I had like, and then I like I looked, and the guy was like, "Okay, you made this much money." I said, "Are you sure?" He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "Are you positive?" And he's like, like, "You're not gonna hunt me yeah. down and, and like, send the police oh. to my house." <laughs> but like, I'm done with that. Know, they right? they stalk me enough. You sure? <laughs> I know, right? 
Um, I forgot the clock out to go back inside. It was long. Oh, I got it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, I, know, I do I have a giant so crab, but I, but I do I have my teaching salary, so we just blow all my giant crab yeah. money. <laughs> Remember, we did Reebok and Nike mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, I had totally for. Wait, I, I hold on. I lost track of what I'm doing. That computer cell got a clock out. I know. It was crazy, though. Yeah, the kids are late. Y'all are good like, this time of year May, June, July, August, September. The money would be good. We just got to know October, November, December, January, February, you know. You'll have to go in some days and only make 30 bucks. You have one minute remaining. You know what I mean? Well, this is my free call. I'm going to go call you back on this on my, um, on my account, okay? I'll give you a okay, few minutes to finish good. up there, okay? Okay. All right, bye. Okay. <sighs> um. I liked your comment. That's really one of the only things I have to say. So I'll let you uh, say that. That's or the only th things that I had thought about listening to that, except for <laughs> chicken shite had write this. Like when Harley's saying how much she made, Tisha's like, you're going to be addicted. And um, <laughs> chicken shite was like addicted to surviving. Like, uh, yeah, addicted to paying bills, addicted to be being an adult. Yeah. Let me tell you, I've been an adult since 1995 and I can't get enough of it. It's the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. Said no one ever. <laughs> Shut up, Tisha. <laughs> um, Stephanie, thank you for joining. What about your comment though about when Harley accomplishes something? Because I don't want to take oh. it. Jesus fuck, Letitia. Even when Harley does something good, you can't even give her any credit. I mean, seriously, couldn't she just say I'm proud of you. I remember when Minnie Bindi called me when she got her very first paycheck. Okay. And she told me how much it was. And I said to her, I said, I'm so proud of you, Minnie Bindi. Look what you did, you know, because that's what you freaking do as a parent, you know? Yep. Do I think that Minnie Bindi is going to be working at this job for the rest of her life? No. But the fact of the matter is she's in the service industry and it's, you know, working with people. And look, we've all met people. People fucking suck, especially especially in the service industry. You know, when you have to wait on them, it's oh, not God fun. Almighty. It's very you hard. Know? It's yes, not it fun. Is very hard. Stressful. And Minnie Bindi people is not. Mean. Yeah, they are. And Minnie Bindi is not known for taking any bullshit at any time from anybody for any reason. And the fact that she, you know, which she knows, obviously, I raised her right. She knows that you have to if you're in a job. But I mean, that's what you say. It is, I, I didn't, that's not my accomplishment. She worked her butt off. And the only advice that I gave her was the same advice my mom got gave me when I got my first paycheck. Don't spend it all in one place or all on one face. That's what she told, that's what I told her because that's what my mom told me. That's it. I was proud of her. Well, that. I mean, I just... Tisha is so jealous. She can't stand anybody else. It's all always about her. Even this, she brought it back to her. And when she worked so and so, and they bought Nikes, and right. who gives a shit, Tisha? Yeah, you are Tisha. in jail. Your daughter is out here tra trying to adult. Why don't you sit down and and help her and talk to her about her life and what she's doing? It's very frustrating. But I right. there are a couple comments that are pretty cute. And I want to read to you. They made me laugh. Okay. Um, Teacup says. I'm still trying to wrap my head around being an adult, which me too. Um, of course. Rainbow Mom said, oh, Riddler, hold on, and I'm going to read that. Let me see, Rainbow Mom. I'm always looking around for an adultier adult. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Same. true. And then Christy said, adulthood is the worst hood I've ever lived in. So ghetto. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> And it is the worst hood. hood. I hate this hood. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> yes. Um, and Riddler, happy Easter. And thank you so much. I appreciate that. For me, I still feel like I know I'm 34 years old. Like I'm grown as hell. I'm way past. I'm not young anymore, like at all. And I still half the time feel like I'm like 19 years old. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I, I hope I grow try out of being it, 40, <laughs> Try being my age and still feeling like you're you know, 20, I'm old enough to drink for sure. So 21, maybe 22. And that's um, on, Lindsay, a good day. on a bad day. Well. I feel like 15. 
<laughs> yeah, she did testify. Um, I actually, we, I have a video not too long ago, like going back through her testimony. It's in my live streams and it's also going through her recent social media posts and things like that. Um, and kind of tying together things we've heard in the calls with her testimony and her social media posts. Um, so if you yeah, go to, to my that. channel. That was a good video. Go look at that. It was a good video. She did a good job. Thank you. Isn't that when the um we got the the Zoolander yes. picture? Like, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I love it. Oh, Rainbow Mom. Okay, so I think this will be our last call because we got to go. We got all got things to do. Um, hey Mia, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready. I'm oh, ready. I, that sounded like a song. I don't know what song. But, I don't think you're you know, ready for it. this something or other. <laughs> My body delicious, baby, baby. <laughs> That's not the one I was thinking, but. <laughs> That's the one I oh, was thinking. My body too bootylicious. Yeah, but there's oh, one that goes like, are you ready? Right at the beginning. Like, just like that. I don't know. <laughs> Singing, my body's too bootylicious. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kathy. Send an adult to your adult. <laughs> yeah, where is the adult? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Hey, guys. I haven't been on in a while, but I noticed the other Jen is not with you guys anymore. I know she is on her own. Just wondering why. Um, we've but decided some, to go our separate ways. Yeah, go ahead, sometimes Jen. Sometimes it just bees like that. Sometimes yeah. things just don't work out. We had different ideas of how agreements and business and do deals and things like that work. We had different ideas of, of how to do that. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of uh, that. Yeah. Um, Natasha, thank you. Deeds. Hey, Angie. Yeah, we had different ways of, of doing things and what is, you know, um, just appropriate when you're doing things like that. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. I could go on and on, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep it there. Hi. Oh my God. These are the loudest people I've ever met in my life. Oh, <laughs> My head constantly rings, 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 rings. It's like, do we have to really talk this loud? Just like, can't you just stand there and be like, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Not, hey, girl. <sighs> right? Like, I, I'm telling you, I'm, I feel like I'm high every day. I'm around people that were raised in the barn. That's what I feel like. No respect <laughs> for people. It's like, where was your parents? Did they not whip your ass? That's funny. It does. It drives me absolutely insane. Like, a disrespect to people, to each other. It's like, man, no wonder people can't function in society. <laughs> God. I mean, I know I grew up in a pretty tough uh, county, but I tell you what, they might have done crazy stuff like that, but it didn't stop my mom from getting a broomstick, running after you and beating your behind. A ground, <laughs> get a twitch or something. You wouldn't do it but once. And here I feel like we need that, you know? We need that to switch sometimes. Anyway, well, that's good. I'm proud of you. You made that money. Well, I was thinking about that. I was like, mm, she's probably passing out a lot of sushi today. Yeah. Oh, my feet were so tired and my body was so tired that I couldn't even go to sleep because I was in so much pain. And then I had dreams that I kept waking up in the middle of the night thinking I forgot to put in somebody's order. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have that. You will do that. You got the right shoes. You got those slip shoes, but with the cushions, right? No. Well, you probably need to buy you some. I'm surprised they don't make y'all have those. They just said all black. They're not slips, but it's not. It's okay. I just have to use the shoes. Okay, well, I know you made some money, but you need to. You can go to Walmart and get them for 20 bucks. Okay. And they got different styles. They're not going to be the cutest by any means. 
but it ain't about that. They got different ones going to cost more. I mean, if you want something fancier, then they're going to cost more. But you need those. They even have some without shoestrings that you can just slip on. But those have the, uh, and those are sometimes the better ones, so you don't have to worry about stopping and tying your shoe all the time. Maybe tripped and yeah. dropped somebody's drinks or something, you know? Yeah. So, those, don't those, tell Amber and I make $700. Ah, oh, no. Nah, you think I'm going to tell her? But what you do is go get you get you those and then stop on the aisle with the Dr. Scholl's in them and get change out the soles in them. You got to take the soles of those shoes out and put the Dr. Scholl's in there. Scholl's in there. Or sometimes you can buy the, buy the Dr. Scholl's that will just go in on top of yours. Just depending on what kind of you get. And I'm telling you, it'll make a world of difference when you're standing up for 10 hours, 12 hours. Okay. I'll yeah, have to do that then. Yeah, do that because if you, even though Adidas's are good shoes and stuff like that, but they're not made for that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. But I'm not telling you Brenda that. Yeah, because I, I only got these because I got them for $20 and I needed black shoes because they're like, you said black shoes and I was like, ugh. So I like grabbed them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was like, $20, okay. Yeah, and they're fine for like, you know, short shift or, you know, something crazy. But when you're talking long days or a lot of work or busy, yeah, I mean, and what I would, you know, what I do with giant crab, it's different at Soho because you don't smell like crab, but I would just take everything off and put it in the trunk. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Yeah, because it was the hardest thing to smell like crabs then. It's different. Sushi, I mean, I know yeah. she does still have that smell, but it's not like the crab smell. It just gets stuck on you. I just smell like soy sauce, that's all. <laughs> yeah, soy sauce. <laughs> hey, I could have some soy sauce right now. I could just drink a bottle of Ponsu and I'd be totally okay. With some cucumber and tuna. Mm. Yeah. People yeah. will order stuff that you usually get, and I'm like, oh. I know. I thought about that yesterday. I was like, I dropped my phone. Huh? Oh, Carly. Okay. I dropped my phone. I dropped God, my phone. don't scare me. Do not scare me. Be careful driving and go on the phone. I am. I put two of my cup holders. Are you at a uh, 21st or 38th? 21st. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, were you working down? Yeah, were you working downstairs or upstairs? Downstairs. Yeah, you probably have to work downstairs they for a little while. Yeah, they haven't called me upstairs yet. Yeah, that'll come with a lot of experience. Because up there, you're lighting. They be lighting alcohol and fire and stuff like that. Yeah, so like people order special things in those couches and they'll light the alcohol and fire. And then, then like it's just part of the presentation and it makes it stronger and all that type of thing. Which you don't need and any alcohol. Like people, huh? I feel like people like, like expect more to them upstairs. I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, and you got to get more experience. You got the classy part, it's not that. You just got to, uh, and you've been in fancy restaurants, so you know how that goes. So it's just about the experience with, because you're going to be carrying, you would be carrying around 20 drinks at once. You know what I mean? Right. And people don't be playing if you spill a little bit out their martini glass, because, I mean, they probably paid $12 for that martini. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's you so spill a little bit. Like everything is, so, everything so, is expensive. so expensive. So, like, mm -hmm. I get, like, $30 tips on one table. Yeah. And you think about it. You spill a little bit of a martini glass, you're spilling three dollars worth <laughs> I'd be pissed like where's the rest of our martini you know right and that's the thing about it is when you make mistakes always blame somebody else <laughs> I know right I mean not in a bad way be like oh my goodness I'm so sorry it must have not crossed the kitchen's mind I'll go cr I'll go fix that right away or if you forgot to put that in you they're used to it you know people are used to oh my goodness I really thought I'd keep that on the computer but you know what I'll make sure it gets in right away no problem you know because I mean? I've done that went through the whole time yesterday and I freaked out yeah she yelled at me for no reason she brought me a chicken dough and I had no steak on it I mean she brought me a steak silly with no steak on it it was just a bread and she, yeah and I was like what is wrong with you and what is it was wrong with you yeah. like, oh that was awkward when I brought it out to the table and then, uh, and then I heard a crying from this one table, and they're like, "Honey, it's the first day. You're fine. 
pieces at the table with chicken bills. And they were like, that's not your fault. All of them, she asked my cash app and she sent me money on cash app. And she was like, I want this to be yours and I don't want anybody to take out of it. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> you use them with your sensitivity skills. <laughs> hey, whatever you got to do. You know, and yeah. sometimes when people when people act like that or like the kitchen is going to get stressed because they're having a hard time, and you got to think they got a lot going on, and so you got to say, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry you're having a bad day, and this is messed up. It don't matter whose fault it is. Let's fix it." And sometimes it takes biting your tongue doing that because both of you are in this to make money. Because if they get it out to you right, and your bar gets the drinks to you right, then your tips are good regardless. Because even though it's automatic gratuity, people can add more. They can add an extra 10, yeah. 15, whatever, and they can also go to the manager because it's against, it is technically by law against the law for anything under eight people to be added at that amount. Even though it's automatic, they can go say they know their state laws and take it off. Yeah. So just always be like, and most people out of state don't argue with that because up north, 20% is nothing to them. They tip 30. I mean, yeah. So. Just always make sure, you know, the customer's always right. I'm sure they tell you all this. But trust me, from experience, I sit there many days and be like, this is some evil lady I'm waiting on. But, hey, girl, how you doing? And always compliment the women first. If the woman is there with her man, compliment her first because you will get a good tip. That's right. Yeah, always see the girl. She's in the dress. Be like, you look gorgeous in that dress or that's a gorgeous dress and, you know, or something like that because it also helps the guy. Yes. Yeah. Or maybe not tell her she looks gorgeous. She might think you like her, but <laughs> say, say, that's a gorgeous dress there. Oh, my goodness, your hair looks great like that. You know, that type of thing. So I'll never tell the guy that. <laughs> I know. I know. Or you guys want to get the tips. I mean, if it's like a group of guys, like six guys on a bachelor party or something, they'd be like, oh, my goodness, where'd you get that shirt? It looks great on you, even though you know it came from Vineyard, you know what I mean, or something like that. But that's how I made all the oh. money uh, when I worked all the Harley things is when the women and men would come up there and I was working all the bike weeks, I'd check out the women and be like, oh, my goodness, girl, you look good in those chats. And they'd be like, do I really? And they could be like 200 pounds. <laughs> but I would still say. Yeah, because this one table came up and they had a Harley jacket and everything. They just came from that. And they came to stuff. I was like, hi, my name's Harley. And they were like, oh, that I'm easy to remember. And they gave me extra money because my name's Harley. I know. Uh, by week started? Harley week started? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. Because it usually starts right after Mother's Day. It goes. Yeah, because when my investigator was like, I got to go to Myrtle Beach so I can do interviews and get that stuff and yada, yada, yada. And I, she was like, when should I go? I said, well, don't go May because you're going to have Harley week. Do you have Black Bite week? <laughs> I was like, no. I was yeah, like, I promise um, you. I was like, she's like, well, I want to go when it's not, like, hot. I was like, well, girl, you better wait till, like, November. <laughs> so I was like, because right now, you're talking about, these people don't know what it's like with the heat, man. They be rocking around here something, and it's hot in the room, and I look, and it's, like, 68. I'm in there, like, uh, uh. Oh, my God. I be walking oh, around with long sleeves on, two, uh, two pairs of socks on. So, yeah. It looks like it's cold out there today. It has to be because I put my milk on the windowsill and it got ice cold, so it's got to be cold out there again. What? Did you get your Did you get your card? Yeah, it's cold out there. Did you get your card? Your birthday card? What card? Yeah. What? Remember, I told you. You didn't ever tell me. You said you were going to go get it. You didn't say like, "Hey, I got oh. it." Oh, you see the yeah, difference in the two artists, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that? Uh, the one who drew that one is the one that I was on the phone with that time with you. He drew the one that says my name. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I'm talking about he's like a bad astrologer. Like, oh my God, like, I mean, I'd never get a tattoo, but if it was, I'd be like, he'd be the only one to do it, even though I'd never get a tattoo. But. <laughs> If I was, what else was I going to tell you? Let me tell you something. I don't know. We haven't so much to tell you that I couldn't get you. Oh, I was going to be like, oh, is that my baby? And that's Jesse? When, when you answered yesterday, I was going to be like, is that my Bessie? And that's Jesse? Is that a 
I don't know. I, one night I was waiting on Sunday night slow jams to come on because it didn't come on to eight, and somebody came on singing that. And that's my best friend. That's my best friend. Like that. You have to listen to it. But she's like, that's my best friend. Is that my bestie? And that's Tessie? But apparently there's a shortage in the world of batteries. And uh, we haven't had batteries, so we're losing our minds. Yeah, there's nothing to listen to because we have no batteries. We can't listen to the TV because we don't have any batteries. And the radio runs off the TV. Like, you have to turn it to a certain station to hear the TV. Oh. I'm just sitting there like, oh, my God, everybody's like, batteries, we need batteries. I'm like, heck, yeah, we need batteries. We're never going to be on a battery shortage. I mean, unless they're lying to us, but this is what we're being told, and we haven't had any batteries, and yeah, I really need them, because I always listen to gospel music most of the day to tone out some of this noise, because it, it, it has me, like, I mean, I just be... We were not battery once a month ago. We were? A month ago. Okay, well, maybe they have the storage room or something and they ran out there and just can't get refills or something. I don't know, but we need batteries. <laughs> we need them bad. None of us have them, so everybody should. You have one minute remaining. You know, wired up because we sit in there all day for 20 some hours and we can't. I mean, and you're sitting there looking at the TV, just don't know what they're saying, but just looking. <laughs> Like, no, this ain't, no. This ain't like watching a cartoon or something where I could figure it out. But, yeah. Anyway. Right. All right. It's going to hang up. I love you. Put your money up. Save it. I know you think about shopping and things like that, but I promise you, you're going to get the chance to do all that and make up all this time. All right. And we'll, we'll get to go shopping many times. All right. I love you. Love you. Bye. I promise see you we're gonna make that up and make up all this time and we'll get to go shopping really you promise her that surely to god she understood at this point she wasn't getting out right i mean her level of denial like every time i think surely she's got to be she's got to have a clue about this i mean surely surely she no i mean listen did you hear <laughs> the things that she was advising harley to do as irritating oh as god. it was to hear it's actually a very interesting glimpse into inside the inner workings of one Leticia Stouk. Her motto for life, yeah. like her mission statement, if she had a mission statement, it would be just bullshit them. Yeah, bullshit them, lie, manipulate, and then I tell people they look nice and they'll be like 200 pounds. First of all, you are the dumbest ass woman I've ever met. People can look good at any weight. You idiot. Correct. Like how Correct. rude. I just. Um, I mean, you went to jail pretty yeah. svelte about what, 130, 135. But you looked like to, like hammered shit because you haven't washed your hair in at least eight months. Exactly. Okay. So it ain't about the size, ma'am. Shut exactly. up. She's so disgusting. Um, S. Hockett, Aunt Brenda did not go to the trial. And. So she told Letitia that her Letitia's attorneys told her she wasn't allowed to be there. But Letitia's attorneys were asked, you know, um, did you tell, you know, is that true? And they said, no, that is not true. We did not tell her that the family couldn't come. So why we don't that? know how, why how, she. How, went. Yeah, that makes not a lick of sense. Y'all, anybody that has ever gone from you know, all the way through high school, you don't even have to finish high school, just get to about like the 11th grade. And you will learn that trials are public. There isn't anybody that cannot go to a trial. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Adrian needs a Tisha Lynn. Bikram said, oh. Jen, can you give Adrian a Tisha Oh, yeah. Lynn? <clears throat> Tisha Lynn. Okay, baby. <laughs> Well, all right. You're Hi, humongous. Baby. Okay. Love you. Bye. Tisha Lynn. Now, I told <laughs> you, Tisha Lynn. It weren't, it weren't. Bye, I put baby. that money up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you went further than just the Tisha Lynn because I was hoping you'd do the hi, baby, because that's when you sound like her to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hi, baby. Okay, let me just for a second to say thank you so much to Natasha for joining and gifting a membership. Thank Aww. you so much, Angela, for joining and gifting. And thank you so much, Elena, for gifting 10 memberships. I appreciate you guys so much. And welcome to the new members. You guys are too good to me. And I just, yeah, I really appreciate you. You deserve so thank it. Thank you. You deserve thank it. Thank you, Bendy. So do you. You're welcome, All right, baby. Well, so we'll end it here. We have a little yeah. bit more. We'll decide how we're going to do that. We have some things that we need to talk about as far as some more things that we got today. You guys, there we'll have things coming soon. We did accidentally get some kind of videos that were for a whole nother case. And like, <laughs> oh, my we God, it's ready. like a man and a we, yeah, we were not ready at all. <laughs> a man in a pickle suit, spit mask, all the things. Um was not anything with Letitia. It was an accident. But yeah, we definitely have lots of stuff coming soon. And we're going to plan this live about punishment and how, you know, how, how what's the right way to punish your kids. Um, I know Jen has that video on Sebastian. She just did. Please go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. It's very good and it's, it's important. And um, I definitely want to talk about S Sebastian's case today. His stepfather so Christopher Proudfoot's ex the one that has his daughter um was on Trev Time show so I think there's a lot for us to discuss as far as that goes sometime in the coming days and then yeah, 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 yeah. Bendy do you have anything planned um no I'm just gonna keep um working on um that um finishing up that documentary so I can hurry up and premiere that because I need to get that out to you guys it's just I keep find you know I just keep I have other things that I'm doing too and I need better time management. The fact of the matter is, look, I spend a little bit more time fucking around than I should, and that's just the truth. <laughs> Sometimes if I don't if I don't take a break and fuck around just a little bit, then I I can't then I get like I don't know stuck and I can't be creative. Yeah, it's too much. I can't be fenced. It can in, be though. too much. Okay, so let me show, Katie said, show us. Let me see if I can just pull it up very quickly, just one little clip part of it, because it's four videos, but I should be able to. Oh my God, one Nadine. Second. Look what Nadine wrote to me. Bendy, don't forget instant means right now. Okay, I thought whenever <laughs> I put the video up that I was going to get an opportunity to like make like instant I didn't think it meant right this fucking second. I thought maybe like you could do it within 30 minutes to for an instant premiere. But no, when they when they use the term instant, they mean it very literally instantly. Like the minute you click save, boom, premiere. <laughs> like they don't let you do shit. Um, you can't set a time. You can't change the intro <laughs> to it. Nothing. It's right then immediate. I would have understood immediate better. Why they give you a chance to they There's a box and it looks like you can actually, because you can schedule a premiere. It was a big, it was just whatever. It happened. And it, it all worked out. I just wasn't ready. Oh, Kelly P, that's a good idea. So th um, this is the, the one of the videos. So this one's like 18 minutes long. You see him in there in his little thing. He's, you know, this is the booking. This one thing that's cool about this, though, this is El Paso County Jail. So this is actually where Tisha was at. And um, they do show, let me see, there's a pat down wall. They call it the pat down wall. And that video, let me just show you what that looks like. Because it is interesting to be able to see in the jail. Um. So this is the pat down wall. Then we have, and then I'm going to let you guys go. There's a sale. No, I think I already showed that one. That's the sale. Booking Amphitheater and the main hall. I'll just pull those up quickly so you can kind of see for a second. So here is the Booking Amphitheater. Huh. That's kind of interesting. So that's when they first get there, I guess. And I guess. Like, Huh. huh. And this is at El Paso County Jail. And then this is Main Hall. 
And this is another video of the main hallway. And this is from July 22nd of 2022. So anyways, that was not meant to go to us, but you guys got to see it. And uh, that guy in the, in the cell. <laughs> but anyways, okay, I'm going to let you go. Yeah. Um, before I forget, can you, I could have, I, I want to say this out loud in front of God and everybody because Shay and Benet and I are trying to connect, but we don't, she doesn't have my information and I don't have hers, but I know you have both of ours. Mm -hmm. So could you send me Shay's or send Shay mine? Because so, she wanted yeah. to do um, a, ca a, a case with me and we've been trying to get each other's stuff for like forever. And yeah, I keep absolutely. We'll ask you. It's well, me. Okay. But well, seeing the jail reminded this, huh? me of the Arlington jail, which reminded me that I needed okay. to talk to Shay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I will definitely make that happen. And then I just want to say, Mayla's mom, I love you. And thank you so much. I will definitely keep you guys posted. I'll film some things for you. And um, yeah, I'll be around for sure. I think I missed, I don't see a milestone. Crystal, thank you so much. For the see. super sticker. I appreciate that. Oh, Crystal, I see. Been a member for four months. Thank you. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. And um, I love and appreciate you guys. Also, if you don't mind, could you hit the like button? Because, you know, I'm supposed to say that and I never do. And I I mean, it can't hurt. <laughs> so, yeah, please. What's please, the please worst that can happen if you hit the like button? Come on, y'all. <laughs> and go check out my friend Jen's channel and all the channels we drop, but I'm sure you're already subscribed. But if not, go check it out. And I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. I will be contacting you guys all very soon from the beach. So I am so excited. Um, but all right. I love you guys. Have a great night and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.